welcome back you lovely lot and a big warm welcome to anybody new joining us on my channel today now guys we're going to be doing a cracked ice design now i do i have done this many times to be honest uh, not just at christmas it's a great design that you can actually put into any nail so the various videos i will link above as we go so that you can check those out if that's something that you are interested in now i'm going to be using hard gel from the gel bottle today and this is their gel pot and what i'm going to do is i'm not going to paint it on smooth guys i don't want it smooth on the tip area of this what i want is to put beads small beads of hard gel on there then what i'm going to do is come in with cling film and a really thin dotting tool and push that in to make rivets in the gel now majority of the gel that i popped onto this nail is down the middle i don't want it to be thick at the sides so what i will do is pop that in the lamp give it a full cure and then ease that cling film out of that cured gel and that will leave the icy look now at this stage i'm not going to worry about that uneven surface i will cap that later but i am going to repeat the process on the middle finger so again on the tip area away from the nail bed i will pop really small beads concentrated mainly down the middle that's where the thickness will be but i will give a coat on the edges and as i put the cling film on and i push the rivets in with the dotting tool i will push into the center now if you guys are anything like me since your interest in nails um, that's how i found youtube was through nails and i've been doing nails now for four years that's when i got interested and then i decided that i was really interested i wanted to get qualified so but i watched some videos first and this design year in year out it's done everywhere now i first saw it with kirsten meadkin the queen of nails and um she did it with foil so i do have one because i did do that first and then i did one with different colored gels and then i used all sorts of pigments and chromes on them to show up the design to see you know what worked what didn't work i did like a whole video on that again just playing around with what we've got doesn't have to be christmas but this design is pulled out every christmas so i wanted to do a full set of it i haven't done that so uh so right now what i'm doing is working on the nail bed area i've put a super thin layer down uncured and i've got three small pots of glitter there all from the glitter fair i'll list them below and what i'm going to do is come in with a really small uh, brush i don't want it to go everywhere I want to place it strategically on that nail bed and I want like a background of the mylar, the white and the silver all in different textures, different glitters. And then what I'm going to do is put another, I'm going to cure that in the lamp, full cure, come in with again another really super thin layer of that uh, builder gel from the gel bottle that I've got in the gel pot and i've got a potty it's a potty in a pot i tell you and i know i bring that out every year but it's so a potty in the pot and uh, it's from the glitter fair and it's called bring it on and it's got all lots of different tinsels and stars and dots in there i didn't want again to put it on it to take over because it's a really chunky piece here it is what i'm going to do is put it into that wet layer like before what I wanted to do was have that background of the mylar to tie in the icicle that's going to be on the tip and bring it up and over. Again, sparingly nudging it where I want it, not just putting it on and leaving. Now, all the time, I'll pop it on, I'll wipe off my brush and then I'll flatten it down and make it flat, flat, flat. Then I'm going to full cure that in the lamp so that those glitter pieces will then cure into that thin layer of gel that I popped down. Now, going back to Kirsty Meekins now, when she first did it, and she did it with acrylic and she did it on the foil, she didn't actually do anything other than that, and it was amazing. However, you will find in most uh, videos, people will highlight the peaks and troughs of that icicle by adding a chrome or a pigment to that. So that's what we're going to do on this nail. I don't want it to be 
in your face you know if you put silver on that would stand out a lot more what i wanted was a chrome shift so i used a pink shift which is fibered from the glitter fairy and honestly when it hits the light and it shifts it's it's beautiful it's proper pretty so what i'm going to do is do that on both of the icicles rub that in give that a good brush then i will fully encapsulate these two nails in the hard gel now i don't usually do hard gel i am very much an acrylic girl um, i am qualified in in both and what you do is you go in with that hard gel try not to pay with it too much if you do you will get air bubbles in there if you lift that brush off while you're going down the nail take it off at the edge or at the end of the nail do not take it off in the middle again you will get air bubbles trapped in there so what i'll do is i keep coming in with these beads and i will float it down the nail left to right using my brush and gravity by holding that nail down all the way to the end then i will hold it upside down you will see me go down the sides as well because i check that the structure is all there while it's up down upside down i will check that the apex is there i can't do that on camera because the camera's right above what i'm doing but in order to check the apex i have to bring it up to eye level obviously so uh, so yeah i will do all of that and then i will file and buff that into shape then what i'm going to do is come in with madame glam's love me nude i am going to do two layers of this beautiful gel polish but i'm just going to show you the one on camera and i will fully cure in between each layer before coming in and we're going to top coat all of these nails however that's not the end guys not just yet so if you're enjoying this video guys would you mind taking a moment and hitting that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already i would absolutely love it if you would now my original plan for the little finger and the pointer finger was to do some sugared nail art but i changed my mind i didn't want to take away from that cracked ice so i came in with this lovely silvery magnetic gel we've been using it on quite a few nails lately and i thought it would be subtle enough not to detract from those beautiful icicles which is what i wanted to center around i gave that a full cure in the lamp after i had used the magnetics on it i also did the same on the little finger then i came in and with a little bit of jewelry gel i fixed the um, snowflake charm in the middle of that pointer finger finished it all off with top coat and then this is the end result so i really do hope you've enjoyed our little nail play today don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video please stay safe until next time bye